Morning guys. Two lots of good news. One of them is more about me. <laughs> and that's how I had my hair cut. Yes! Yes! The second lot of good news is we're off on a pop top adventure! Yay! So um, the van is almost fully packed. It's I just not a watch, so I don't know what I'm looking at that for. It's about half past eight. What time is it? A31. It's exactly half past eight. Wait a minute, the coffee machine's on, just making sure it's not overflowing. And uh, we're off on a pop top adventure. We're off to a place called Subaby on the east coast, and that's sort of nestled in between Bridlington and Flamborough. Uh, wait a minute, there we go. And um, yeah, so uh, what I'll do once the van's fully packed, I'll go through everything that's in there so you can see what it's like for a, like a four day trip. It's three nights, four days, um, with the van absolutely ram packed. Uh, the food's in there, the bed covers are in there, everything is in there, uh, but like I say, I'll show you it. And then when we get there, got the awning to set up and we'll show you the setting up of the van and it's all exciting, it's freaking holiday time! Right then, so the van is fully packed. Um, there's just uh, the rucksacks to come in. Um, it's it's full, <laughs> considering it's only three nights, it's properly full. So uh, I'll show you what we've done and where we've packed stuff. So as you could probably tell, it's uh, pretty rammed in here. So let's just turn the camera around and show you. So we've got, that's the bed cover not the bed cover, the mattress for the pop top. That's all rolled up, ready to go. There's the loo with the cover on it. There's a box there for the shoes, which will go out in the awning once we get there. Uh, all the coats are hung up. We normally have those away, but we've hung them up because uh, it's pretty chilly, so we're gonna need them. Uh, my camera there, just so I can get to it. All of the things up on the shelf, all ready to go. Uh, the fridge is fully, fully stocked, full of all the salad and stuff. We've even put um, what we put in there, we've even put the freezer compartment on because in the CRE and the CRX50 it's got a freezer compartment which is brilliant. So all like the burgers and stuff have gone in there ready for when we need them. Um, what else have we got rammed in here? Right, okay, so um, we'll fill that water bottle up when we get there. We'll fill the water bottles up underneath when we get there. Uh, the gas is full, we've got a spare gas bottle in the back. Again, I'll show you that. Uh, all the pillows are all just stuffed up there uh, and the blankets that we're gonna need, so they're out of the way. This chair is left for Olivia to find a way of getting on. She likes her cushions, so we're gonna leave those out for her uh, in the back here. Uh, we've got all his drinks ready, that's all good. And we've also packed the door. So like toilet rolls and stuff in there, which are easily accessible. And then the shower, portable showers there. Uh, it's relatively spacious in the front. In fact, there's nothing in here. There's probably just gonna be me, Michelle, and our two rucksacks. The nice pillow, it's lovely. Uh, we've got our drinks in the drinks holders and show you as well what we've got just in the other door here. So again, I think this is always overlooked, or it has been for us anyway. Uh, so some more toilet rolls there. We won't be leaving them in, in the van unattended uh, just in case there's some sort of toilet roll binge. Have I told you I've had my hair cut? It's nice. Anyway, uh, and then obviously a couple of bottles of wine. Um, show you in the back. Providing everything doesn't fall out. <laughs> right, so here we go. It probably will. Right, so this is, this is what the back looks like, geez. Right, okay, so I'll have to hold it. So in there, I think I showed you the other day in the other side. In fact, I'm not even gonna show you now because it'll take me four days to get that <laughs> shut again. So yeah, it's rammed. Oh, I'll show you the food cupboard as well because there's other things that we take um, that we've had to put in there for now. So in here, uh, I've sorted the lights out now so they come on. Uh, we've put the heater, a blender, 
the um, uh, toiletries bag, bit of a drink, some of my shake stuff, pennies and twos for the arcade machine should they be open, uh, the travel kettle, uh, and then all the food is in two boxes just down there and there, beer in there and bread and stuff. Uh, we've got like the sound system there, sound system, you know what I mean, it's so then we're not obnoxious when we're on site. Headphones, books, uh, pillows, laptop, um, yeah. So, I think we are ready to go. Oh, actually, we've bought a new thing. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. We, I think I'm a bit of a, what's it called, a kleptomaniac. No, that's somebody who steals, isn't it? Um, shopaholic or vanaholic. Va vanaholic, we'll go with that. Um, so, yeah, I bought a new thing uh, that will be, it's going in the awning. It's not a table, it's not chairs or anything like that. Um, it's... Uh, you'll have to wait and see when we put it up. What does Michelle have to say about the things? Hello! Actually going on a pop top adventure. I know! <laughs> How ace is that? It's been a long time coming. Ten and a half. He Hello. thinks we're leaving him, so he keeps jumping in every time we open the door. Bless his cotton socks. We've got him a little new rug as well. That's not the new thing I'm talking about, but there's his little new van rug, which doesn't take up as much space and can roll up. He loves it and so does the cat. The cat loves it. And they fight over it, don't they? Yeah, they do. They fight over it. The cat wins. Ops. Every time. The cat's way harder than dog. Way harder. Oh, do you know what? I've come to the wrong one. Why? Is it the HGV one? Yeah, it's not big enough at all. <laughs> <laughs> two. Take two. Just cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> Nozzle fits. This, where's the thing? Oh, it's there, look. This is the exact station that I put uh, petrol in my diesel Mercedes, wasn't it? It was. Oops. On Olivia's birthday, when we're heading to Doncaster Dome yeah. for her birthday. Felt so bad. Oh. But our AA cover meant that we got free, didn't it? It did. It was really good. What wasn't good was being chased off the forecourt because you were using your mobile phone. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got really angry with Guy, like a, like a diff. I got really angry with him and I felt really bad because uh, he was just doing his job, so I bought him a coffee, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> bought, him a, bought him a Costa coffee. <gasps> Speaking of which... Nice. Right then, done. Costa coffee. Hi everyone, this is exciting. I'm actually on the channel for a, for a change. I feel like it's been so long since we've managed to get out and be anywhere in the van. It's just nice to be here. So I hope everyone's all right. Um, Colin's just going to get us some lunch because we're going to hit hungry time halfway to bread and then we'll there'll be nowhere to stop because we go on the scenic route, which basically means that you're in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful, but you can't stop apart from seaways. You can stop at seaways and get a dirty fry up or something like that, which is really nice. But we're going to get sandwiches instead. So he's inside, faffing with his hair. He's looking confused. He's walking backwards. Were you filming me because my hair looked so good? Absolutely. <laughs> I was laughing about how many times you flicked it and you don't need to flick it anymore because it's really short. I know, like that, I'm like <laughs> I've got a tick or something. Like <laughs> it's so nice to touch on that bit. Oh, it's nice. Mm. I love it. Nice. Food. Dinner time. We're now stuck in traffic that we don't have to be. Because Shell Nav, the lady behind the camera right now, got herself distracted and we missed the exit. Seen the video.
video when last time we came to Bridlington. Um, we videoed going up Garibay Hill, which I had to do about seven takes for. I don't yeah. know why. There's the AA van. Got to wave to him, even though he's not even in his box. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're going to film it again just because it's an epic hill and we're behind a lorry, so it's going to take a while to get up there. Bye. <laughs> don't know if we're going to do any overtaking. Our foot to the floor. We get to follow this lorry for a while. Are we ready? I'll put my foot to floor. Ready? Three, two, one. We have arrived. Shell's going to go speak to them, aren't you? Yeah. Hopefully we'll get a plot. Hopefully. 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 It it's pretty good. empty, doesn't it? It is pretty empty. Um for now, I'm assuming. But all those schools have gone back um in this area, so I think we might get away with it. It might be quite a quiet camp. On the chocks. Looking nice. Everyone's a winner, baby, that's the truth. Didn't need to go up much, but because our heads are going to be at that side, I didn't want us to be like that, otherwise, it's horrible. Right, then, I'll show you around campsite in a bit, but we need to get this uh, awning set up. Let's crack on. Go for it. Need some doing, I think. Now, I genuinely think that the most exciting thing about camping is setting up. I don't know about you, but I like to faff a lot um, while I'm setting up and things like that. But what is important, what we noticed was it's great to put the um, wrap around the pop top first uh, because you can't actually get to it once the awning's on. Um, now, we're not pros at setting up the awning by any stretch of the imagination. We are. Uh, we, in fact, we had to get my dad involved to help. Um, there was only a slight breeze. It's a very old awning. We were donated it uh, for free uh, by Michelle's parents. And um, we, we do struggle to set it up. I think at some point we're probably going to get one of those air awnings by Van Gogh or something a little bit more modern so it's easier to put up. But eventually we did get it up. Um, there were no arguments and we still stayed friends and we're still married, so that's all good. Right, okay, so this is the new thing we've bought. <laughs> By the way, Olivia, it's a pop-up toilet tent. <laughs> you should have told me that earlier. <laughs> just properly knocked her over. <laughs> there we go. And then we just push it there in the corner, that's it, lovely. That corner? Yeah, just push it against there, be right. And then is that as far back as it'll go? That is, yeah. Awesome, yeah, that's all right, is that? Going to do, we'll never see you again. Toilet turns. Bye. Right, having a coffee first. Uh, we're all set up, and uh, I'll show you. Safe. We are right opposite our parents. When I say our parents, I mean my parents. That's vast. There's more room in your storage compartment than there is in the entirety of my van. <laughs> Go, there's a hidden, hidden, hidden San Miguel bottle in that bin there that I've just opened. <laughs> Have I told you about my hair, by the way? You go for a wee? I won't film that. Right then, where did Branston go, by the way? Anybody seen Branston? Branston, come, come here, come here. In, in ran all the way over there. So you know the wine that we're having with dinner. Have you got any wine glasses? Yeah, we use the boredom cups. Put the boredom cups. We've now got coffee in them. Well, I'll wash them. Okay, cool. So to wash up, let's put the kettle on. Need hot water. 
to give some water, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just get these out. Right, so. Um, cups. Yeah, we just use them. Yeah! yeah. One cup! <laughs> All else fails. <laughs> just oh, yeah. make more Where's mess. The other, where's the other cup? <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. Tastes just the same in a plastic glass. Plastic glass? So it just be, should just be called the plastic. Don't know. Anyway, cheers guys. <laughs> Morning guys. Uh, there's a guy cutting his grass over there. Apart from that, it's quite a peaceful sight. Uh, and again, pretty uh, pretty quiet and not many people here, which is ace. We had a really good sleep last night. The thermal pop top worked because Olivia was too warm. Uh, and then I give her a uh, hot water bottle to use. So what I'm gonna show you now is the facilities. Uh, in there, you've got pots to wash. You can wash pots in there. I'm not allowed to go in, I can't go in. Uh, but there's a ladies section there, uh, gents section there. The showers. Uh, there's no shop on site as such, uh, but they do have spare gas. There's a gas there, which is nice. And then through here, around the back, is the, uh, the dirty section. So we've got the chemical disposal there, which we can use. We're allowed to use that. But yeah, that's how quiet it is at the moment. So. Here's reception, just here. Lovely, lovely couple, Sarah and Russell. Uh, yeah, so you report to reception on your way in. Bit of a car parky area there, near the motel. That uh, will soon be open, which is lovely. The pub is literally just there, it's brilliant. The pub is gorgeous, it's called the Martonian. Morning. Morning. Morning campers. Morning. How are you doing? Not bad are you? I'm okay, sir. Thank you. Did you sleep well? Yes, absolutely perfectly. Thank you very much. Were you warm enough? Uh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was well below zero. Last was it? Yeah, was it? Yeah. No, we were absolutely fine. Dialed. We made our leg. <laughs> so the thermal covers on the windscreen obviously they're silver on the other side and silver reflects heat back so I'm going to swap those over so the silver's on the inside schoolboy error and also we didn't crack the windows open to let any uh, ventilation in last night however the sun came up from that side over there which meant that like three quarters of the van had sun on it so there was no condensation on that side um there was condensation on the front windows but i think that's because the thermal wraps are the wrong way around um so i think we are all ready to go the toilet tent's working an absolute dream uh, literally just set up in there which is ace um I th i'll be honest with you i think what i'd do is i would just have the porta potty all the time because uh, in the toilet tent it's absolutely fine and then you're not fighting for toilets and things like that so i think especially Certainly on um, busy days when you come camping and things. There you go, there's a Martonian, not open yet. <laughs> she just fell down her hole. <laughs> so it says we're opening Wednesday, 14th of April at 12 o'clock. Please note we do not take bookings, first come, first served. So there you go. Really is outdoor area there. Awesome. Right, really quickly, let's just have a quick gander. This is all outdoor, this is all open and outdoor. So I'm just having a look. Oh, Mint, thank you. Let's turn it lights on. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. That is so nice. Look at that there. Yeah, this is so lovely. And now they've got an extra bit over that other side as well. 
in the sun actually because I bet you won't get yeah, to see yeah, that yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely shelters. Yep, there's heaters. Look, heater lights and stuff. We'll put wall to keep you nice and warm. I love the wood. Yeah, there'll be a TV in there. Yeah, there'll be a TV in there. Yeah, watch, watch your footballs oh, and stuff. Amazing. James, this looks lovely. You've done a great job. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're definitely muck spreading. Either that or it's Branston. <laughs> or you. No, it's definitely not me. Mm. So we're going, going to go past a place called Sewerby Hall and Garden. So hopefully we'll go in and, and visit that. Um, but uh, there used to be old trees up so you couldn't see the land. Uh, whereas now you can see it. So uh, I'll turn the camera around. You can have a look. So I don't know why they chopped them down. Maybe they just chopped them down to look after the land or open it up because you can see around the corner now or whether the, there was something wrong with the trees, I don't know. They've planted some new ones. So they've planted new trees. Yeah. Yeah, so. Awesome. So yeah, we're going to walk over to the cliff top, down onto the beach wherever we can, and spend a few hours down there and then uh, come back up, text my mum and uh, they'll come and see us, have some dinner. Happy days. So you can actually bring your motorhome here. Uh, I think you pay the guys in the ship. There's no electric hookup or anything and no amenities, so it's why it's mainly motorhomes and stuff. But if you've got your toilet tent and you only want to come for a night or a quick stay over, you've basically got your camper there and then the sea there, which is just beautiful. That's nice. Just need to find some steps down, make sure they haven't washed away. So directly opposite the shipping, there's some steps down to the beach and that's where we are headed. What time is it? The tide is in 20 past 12. 20 past 12. Tide's uh, out, yeah. Almost dinner time, it's definitely out, yeah. Oh, look at this. Get a view from up here. The views were spectacular. The tide was on its way in, but far enough out for us to be able to explore and do some rock pooling. There are many, many stairs down to the beach, but um, we were also told that there was a landslide not so long back and the stairs were inaccessible. So absolutely fine this time, so you can head on down. We spent a few hours on the beach, had some lunch, did some rock pooling, and Branston absolutely loved it. He went mental as soon as he saw the water and the beach. As everybody will know, our dog absolutely loves the beach and being a Labrador is straight in the water every single time. So now we're heading back to the van to, uh, we've had lunch, we had lunch on the beach. To uh, sit down and chill out, I think. Read a book, get some of these uh, videos loaded up onto the laptop and I reckon beer time. Right guys, it's the end of day one and it's been an awesome day, a bit chilly towards the back end uh, so we've come inside the awning, they're playing some games. Um, Mum and Dad have gone to go get some fish and chips because, you know, why come to the coast and not have fish and chips? Uh, so that's uh, dinner sorted. Uh, probably have a couple of card games, 
few beers and again i think we whacked from the sea air so we'll probably end up having another early night um but yeah it's been super nice like the walk down to the beach this morning was lovely not too far probably about a mile walk there are longer walks you can do um that take you out towards flamborough and uh, danesdyke which we might do one of those uh, but we also want to explore as i've said before um Sewerby hall and gardens because that looks beautiful we may even do that tomorrow so um, that's it for another day. I shall see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Coming up in the next video, we visit Sewerby Hall and Gardens. I eat some OTs. I go to a zoo with Olivia and we see some really cool animals and also chew like an animal. And we go to a really vast beach too. So look forward to that one. We'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>